Hi everyone, welcome to Focal Academy. See this problem. Here voltage signal given and current signal given in the form of function, mathematical function. So when you observe that in voltage having multiple cosine signals are there. In current also having multiple cosine signals are there. So it is a periodic signals. Now how can you find the average power due to voltage and current? So whenever the voltage and current given like this, so at the time how can you find average power means so first of all observe here, so in the voltage, this is the DC current, the word constant, here there is no DC current, so let us consider it is 0. Now come, this cosine signal having 125T frequency, omega 125 is there, and you can see here also 125, so here also 365, here also 65. So then we can easily find average power. Now see here, first of all product the constant values, there is a DC current and DC voltage corresponding. So that is 128 into 0. Plus half of next this signal that is cos of 125. Here also cos of 125 is there. So their amplitudes are 192 4. Product it 192 into 4 into cos of the difference between the phases. So here 0 degrees is there. Here 0 degrees is there. Here minus 10 is there. The difference is so minus 10 minus 0. Take however it is no problem. Y means it become here minus 10. Y means so cos of minus theta equal to cos theta only. Okay, Because it is even function. There is no issue. Subtract from this to this or this to this, no problem. Okay, now plus next here, same thing in for this signals. So product the amplitudes that is 96 into 1.6 into cos of the difference in the phases minus 30 minus 60 is there. The difference is 30. Now by using calculator, we will get some value. So that is 344.676. So roughly take as 344.7. So this is the average power. Units are watts. So this is the process of simplification for getting the average power. So whenever the voltage and current equations given like this. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.